I think it's about time that we do a waltz. A waltz? Oh, come on, Rich, I don't want to do... Oh, how we dare. <laughs> I remember when Happy Days came out. I was working at this t-shirt shop. I was in high school and I saw the first episode and I loved the show and of course like every other young girl in America I was in love with Fonzie. So I went before school in the morning to the t-shirt shop. I had the key and I opened up the door and made myself a t-shirt that said Fonzie on it and wore it to school and everyone's like, what's a Fonzie? What's a Fonzie? What's that? And I'm like, you didn't see Happy Days last night? Well, then, of course, it grew to be this huge show. And um, I had the hugest crush on him. Then I was able to do the show yeah. um, and work with him. I got cast on Happy Days because I had just done my first professional job, um, a Walt Disney movie called Freaky Friday with Jodie Foster and Barbara Harris. And wonderful movie and they just recently did the remake well the dialogue coach on that show worked on happy days as well his name was Bobby Hoffman and um, everyone loved Bobby Hoffman and he would always talk to me there were several kids on the show and he always would say there's something about you he goes I'm gonna tell you you're gonna be a big star here's what you do do this do, and don't get caught up and just be on time and be professional and I was always fortunate because I had people that just sort of came into my my path and and, and that, that believed in my talent and would teach me so and I had like these mentors like him around well he was working on happy days and this part came up and he said to Gary Marshall I know the most beautiful talented young actress out there right now who needs to play this part Gary Marshall said bring her in and that's how I got that part. But I was so nervous when I got to the set. I was like, Ugh. I was so nervous. But I had a great time. The atmosphere um, was wonderful. Everybody was a real close-knit family, it seemed to me. I specifically remember Ron Howard just being by Jerry Paris, the director's side, and by the cameras at all times. I just remember... And I said to myself, I went, wow, this guy is going to be a huge director someday. And I was like 15 at the time. And I was just like, I saw him and I went, it's interesting what he's doing. He was just learning and working with the director. And it was very interesting. And I saw that. Good. Yeah. And I, I remember thinking, he's going to be a huge director someday. When I worked on Happy Days, that was not the first time I had met Henry Winkler. Oh, really? The first time I met Henry Winkler, I was seeing the movie All the President's Men with um, my high school boyfriend. And Henry Winkler and a young lady came and sat. As the lights were going down, the movie started, they were seated by an usher right in front of us. And I went, oh my God, that's Henry Winkler, it's Henry Winkler. So throughout the movie, I'm thinking, I'm not letting this go. As soon as this movie's over, I've got to, I've got to make an excuse to talk to him. So I finally, so the lights come up, he's there, I run up to said, excuse me, Mr. Winkler. Hi, my name is Charlene Tilton, and I'm um, the head of the journalism department at Hollywood High School, and I run the paper, which was a complete and total lie, complete lie, I was not in journalism at all. I said, you know, we would love to do a cover story for the Hollywood High School newspaper on you. Um, there's a lot of young, aspiring actors, writers, directors, and you would be such an inspiration. Would you ever consider it? And he looked at me and goes, you know, Charlene, for you, I would. Either he gave me a number to call of a secretary, or he call, had a secretary call me, but he kept his word. And so I had to go to the commissary and, and do this interview. So I said, okay, fine. And I'm asking all these questions and listening to all the stories. He goes, uh, don't you want to write that down? I go, oh yeah, I better write that down. <laughs> and he says, so he said, I said, thank you so much. He showed me around and took me to lunch on, you know, at the commissary at the studio. And he said, great. We took pictures together. He said, now, there's only one thing I want from you. 
And I said, anything, what's that? He goes, I want a copy of this as soon as it's out. And I went, you want a copy of this? He said, yes. I went, okay. So I, had, I ran back to school and had to talk to the journalism teacher. I said, um, whatever his name was. And I said, please, uh, you've got to do me a favor. I've got this story and you've got to print it. I'm in trouble. So they printed it. I gave it to Henry. That's why I first met Henry Winkler. You know, it's just, if, if you could have just gotten over your shyness, maybe something would have happened. <laughs> you know what? When you're young and determined, there's nothing like it. Wow, that's amazing. So did he remember you years later when you did the... Well, when I did Happy Days, it wasn't that long afterwards. Yes. In fact, I walked onto the set never thinking he'd remember me. He says, everybody, this is the light of my life. Charlene Tilton, I'm like, oh my gosh. So, and he was so sweet, introduced me to everybody. And then years later, I'm working with him as a producer on the Dallas reunion special. Full Life, circle. Life's wonderful, isn't it? That's amazing. <laughs> Great connection. Thank you for bringing it all around. <laughs> Great story. When stars collide. When, star, when stars collide. <laughs> wow, that's really amazing. So what was it like doing that show? Was it fun? Was it? Uh, tell me the plot of that. I, I have it written now, but I'd rather have you tell me. Of Happy Days? Of that episode, yeah. I remember the title of the episode that I did on Happy Days was called They Shoot Fonzies, Don't They? And I was like Joni's nemesis, this pretty cheerleader who was really bitchy to Joni and um, she was jealous of. And then they had a dance marathon that me and my cousin Bubba or something entered. And the gentleman, the young man that they cast as my dance partner was actually an electrician on the show because he was like six foot seven or something like that. He wasn't an actor, but they needed someone like extraordinarily tall. And um, he was cast and he was wonderful in it. He was really good. And then at the end, um, my character burns and crashes. I don't win the dance marathon. And Fonzie and Joni do, but Fonzie wins it by doing this Russian dancing that is amazing. This guy was like, it was like, wow, I, he's doing all this in the show. It was great.